Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on digital image processing. I am Dr. Dafra and in this 53rd video class of BIP, we will study preliminaries of morphological image processing in digital image processing. Starting with the name, why? Because in the very first video class, I told you that everything is there in the name. Okay, let us understand the name. Preliminaries. Preliminaries means introductory or introduction, right? And morphological. Morphological means morphology and morphology is made up of two terms morpho plus logy. Logy we all know that logy means study and morpho means form or shape or structure. So the study of processing of different shapes or structures within an image for example a face in the image right or processing that particular face in the image is known as morphological image processing. So let us start starting with the slide that we saw in the very first video class of DIP namely what is digital image processing. There we understood that there are three levels of image processing low level processing, mid level processing and high level processing. Low level processing involves primitive operations such as noise reduction, image sharpening, enhancement etc which we have already studied in the previous classes and here the input and output both are images. Higher than the low level processing is the mid level processing which includes image segmentation, classification of individual objects etc. So image segmentation we have studied from video class number 48 to video class number 52 and now using morphological image processing we will be classifying individual objects or processing individual objects. So the point to note over here is that here the inputs are images but the outputs are features or attributes of images for example the face from a image and later we will be learning high level image processing that involves making sense of recognized objects and performing functions associated with visions for example automatic number plate recognition system right so this high level image processing includes chapters like representation and description and object recognition that we'll be learning in the future video classes let's go ahead and understand segmentation versus morphological processing so there's a slight overlap between morphology and image segmentation. Morphology consists of methods that can be used to pre-process the input data of image segmentation or post-process the output of image segmentation stage. For example, this image after segmentation also consists of this noise that is undesirable. So we need to remove this noise. So that will be done using morphological image processing. So in other words, once the segmentation is complete, morphological operations can be used to remove imperfections in the segmented image and deliver information on the shape and structure of the image okay so what is morphology morphology means study of different shapes so it is a broad set of image processing operations that process images based on shapes the word morphology commonly denotes a branch of biology that deals with the form and structure of animals and plants so here in place of animals and plants we will be dealing with images right so the main application of morphological processing is to remove the imperfections in the structures of images see even the binary images may contain many imperfections and in particular the binary regions produced by simple thresholding are distorted by noise as we just saw in the previous slide so morphological image processing pursues the goal of removing these imperfections by accounting for the form and structure of the image and how we will do that we will use mathematics right so we use mathematical morphology as a tool for extracting image components that are useful in representation and description of region shape such as boundaries extraction skeletons etc we have already heard the term morphing right we know image morphing okay so what happens in morphing it is a process of blending the images of two faces together and the result is a fabricated facial image that contains features of the two original faces so this morphing works by creating complex algorithms that morph or change one image and this is generally done by special softwares that detect special features in the image for example face mouth nose etc and adjust them to fit the next image so hence the main image is slowly dissolved as it is transformed to a new one so here the images of these two well-known persons are blend or combined together to form the morphed image and for morphological image processing we preserve the shape or form and remove the imperfections from the image so this example shows how advanced the morphological image processing is let's go ahead now let us understand some preliminaries of morphological image processing see the morphological techniques treat an image as a group of sets right so say if there are two objects in the image then there are two different sets in the image in morphological image processing we apply different set operations so these sets in mathematical morphology represent objects in an image the morphological operators take a set of pixels or objects 
and produce another set of pixels or objects based on some mathematics. See the concepts of set reflection and translation are used extensively in morphology. Reflection of a set B denoted by B cap, this is B cap, right, is defined as B cap is equal to the set of elements W such that W is formed by multiplying each of the two coordinates of all the elements of set B by minus 1 for B belongs to capital B. So, this is our set B and this is say x axis, this is y axis, then B cap will be on minus x and minus y axis. So, we will get a reflected image like this. Okay, So, this is our original image and this is just the reflection of B. Similarly, translation of a set by point Z which is equal to Z1, Z2 which is denoted by B of Z is defined as BZ is equal to set of elements C such that C is formed by adding each element of B by Z for all B belongs to capital B. That means we will be shifting all the elements by Z1 and Z2. So, this is our input image and when we do the translation, this is Z1 and this is Z2 and the resultant image or resultant set will be the shifted version of B. Let us understand operators by graphical examples. Say there are two sets A and B, then the union of A and B will be this shaded portion. The combination of A as well as B, all the elements of A and B. C is the intersection of A and B. So, A and B intersect over this portion or this area and therefore, this is shaded, right? D is the complement of A. So, if this is set A, all the elements outside A will be A complement and E is the difference between A and B. So, this is A minus B. So, we have to subtract the elements of B from the A, then this shaded portion will remain. Let us see some logical operators for binary images. For this figure, the black represents 1 whereas the y represent binary 0. So, this is A, not of A, that is complement of A will be all white will become black and all black will become white. This is A and this is B and A and B. So, elements which are present in A as well as in B are these elements. So, this is 1 and all other is 0. A or B is addition of all the elements of A and B. A, X or B and last one is not A and B. Not of A will be all the portion outside A and end of B multiplied by B. The important elements for morphological image processing are the structuring elements which are also called templates. So, morphological technique probe or test an image the small shape or template called a structuring element SE. The test image or probe image is to be matched against the gallery images or image under consideration. Small sets or sub images used to probe an image under study for properties of interest is called the structuring element S. E. A structuring element is positioned at all possible locations in the image and it is compared with the corresponding neighborhood of pixels. Some operations test whether the element fits within the neighborhood while others test whether it hits or intersects the neighborhood. For example, this first row shows the examples of structuring elements, cross, square, a vertical row and this is a diamond shape and this is the center of the structuring element. The second row shows the same structuring elements but are converted to rectangular arrays to fit the image for image processing, right? So, this cross as a rectangular array is like this. Of course, the other elements are empty. So, see some operations test whether the elements fits within the neighborhood while other test whether it hits or intersects the neighborhood, right? See the testing of an image with a structuring element. Say this is our structuring element. So, if we keep the structuring element over here, it fits the image, okay? Because all the pixels are fitting within the image, right? But if it is B, the structuring element only intersects the image, okay? This portion is intersecting, other portions are empty, right? Other pixels are empty. While for C, the structuring element neither fits nor hits the image. So, how these structuring elements are used? The background border is made large enough to accommodate the entire structuring element when the origin is on the border of the original set by padding. So, this is say our image under consideration and this is the structuring element. So, first we will pad the image under consideration in this manner to form a rectangular array and provide a background border. And this is the structuring element as a rectangular array. Now, we will keep this structuring element on this image and if it is fitting, then we will shade the pixel, otherwise we will leave it as it is. So, if we keep this over here on the border, obviously it will not fit. Let us keep over here. So, here we can see that only this element and this element is matching. These two are not matching. So, this is also not fitting. So, let us denote it with a cross. Similarly, this will not fit. This will not fit and this will not fit. Let us consider this pixel. It will not fit. Why? Because this is a blank pixel. Okay. So, this will also not fit. Okay. But if we keep over here, then the structuring element will fit. You can see this is shaded, this is shaded, this also is shaded and this is shaded. So, this will fit. Similarly, this one will also fit as well as this one will fit. But this again will not fit due to this 
empty pixels right so we'll obtain a set like this which is shown over here so the net result here is that the boundary of the set is eroded and this is known as erosion which we will study in more detail in the next video class So that is all for this video class. Thank you very much.